In this tutorial, we'll look at some of the advanced overlay options that will allow you to apply alpha channeling to titles. I'll start by dragging and dropping a couple of clips onto my timeline. Next, from my title library, I'll bring out two titles. I'm going to drop these right onto the title track. Now, some titles can have animations, others will not. If I right click on one of the titles that happens to have animation, you'll see I have the ability to convert to animation. And what this is actually going to do is it's going to convert this title to a series of PNG files. Now, a PNG file is a file that supports alpha channel, also has the capability of applying transparency to it. You see I also have the option here to convert a single frame to a PNG. So in a situation where I have a title that doesn't have animation, I'll select this option. But for this particular title, I'm going to convert this to an animation. Once my title has been converted, I can drag and drop it from the media tray onto an overlay track. And now I'll simply delete the original title. Objects on the overlay track have the ability to apply overlay options to those. When I double click on this piece of content, you'll notice that I have mask and chroma key. I'll select this and here we have access to applying overlay options. When I select this, you'll now notice that there's an additional four items that I can select. I'm going to select gray key and on the right hand side you'll see I have a slider here that allows me to adjust the gamma as well as the threshold. Let me position my scrubber to the center of this title. Go back in to my mask and chroma key and here I can go in and adjust some of these settings. Next, I'll convert this title to a PNG. Simply right click on it. I'm going to select convert this frame to PNG and you'll see that it's added a PNG into my media tray. I'll drag and drop this onto the timeline and adjust the length of it. I'll delete the original title and when I double click on this object in the overlay track you'll see that I have the ability to go into mask and chroma key apply overlay options and I can change this to say gray key I can adjust the uh, gamma in this I can also adjust my threshold I'm happy with that let's close this down one final thing I want to do for this little uh, intro is I'm going to right click on this I'm going to split the audio I'll drag the audio back here and extend the length of it. Now let's take a look at this little project that we've built and we'll see how these titles look. So you'll note the transparency through the titles. This has allowed us to add a lot more creativity to the projects.